Hello and welcome back to another session of Catskill uh, Hook and Tube Flies. And uh, today we're going to be making a uh, fly that, uh, a dragonfly, on a hook or we can put it on a uh, tube. Uh, the one we're going to do today is going to be on a hook. And I'm going to show you how you do this uh, extended body and uh, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're using a Norvice with the uh, tube uh, adapter in it and I have a mandrel inside and as you can see it when we spin it it's just perfect okay so first step we do is we take some olive thread dark olive thread and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get that started on the mandrel. And I'm going to leave the uh, extra piece of thread sticking out because we're going to use that later on to tie it onto the hook. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a piece of uh, foam. It's uh, 2 0 foam, and the color is. Uh, also a, an olive color, light olive color. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pinch the uh, foam. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put in five or six turns. And this is important. We're going to lift up the uh, foam and go around twice and we're going to pinch the foam again and we're going to put in our first uh, section of the uh, body and we're going to take a couple of turns with thread around that and we're going to advance our way down around the uh, mandrel and take two turns and I'm going to come in again pinch the uh, the foam, put a couple turns in it, and go around the mandrel again with the thread twice, underneath the foam, and I'm going to pinch the foam again and put in another section, advance down, turn around the ma uh, mandrel twice, and I'm going to put in a fourth section, and we're going to tie these rather tight around the body and the reason is we want that to be tight on the bottom and uh, now that we're getting on uh, towards the back of this I'm going to advance my body a little bit and I'm going to start by making those uh, sections of the body a little bit smaller and we're going to go around the body again, around the mandrel. We're going to come around and form another section. Again, it's going to be smaller in size than the previous ones. We're going to go around the mandrel one, once. And I'm going to, again, put a small uh, section on. Now, these sections are going to be pretty much getting smaller as we go. As you can see, that one is smaller than the first, than the last one and we're just going to try to keep that size again and we're going to go around the mandrel once and we're going to pinch our, our uh, foam and we're going to go around one more time and we're going to pinch our our foam and uh, now we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to put in a half hitch knot and pull that tight make sure you keep the thread from the front out of the way and now I'm going to put in a, a whip finish on that last section of uh, body and I'm going to pull that tight and this one you can cut off close to the body because you're not going to need the thread that's the part that's going to be sticking 
uh, away from the the rest of the body and we're going to pull that off and as you can see we've got a, a perfectly segmented uh, body and we have the uh, larger segments up here and the smaller ones as we get closer to the end okay now we're just going to take that body and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, go ahead and trim off the uh, back of the uh, foam and cre create a little bit of a uh, back here by just clipping at a 45 degree angle and the front of this I'm not going to do anything with until we get ready to uh, tie it onto the hook. I'm just going to set that aside and now I'm going to change uh, my uh, vise so I'm just going to put this on the hold and come back to you in a second. Okay, uh, welcome back. I've just changed uh, my vise over to the uh, the vise that I use for the uh, hooks and I have uh, a uh, hook in here. It's uh, let me just close this in on it so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, this is actually a uh, J. Stockard uh, 430 multi use curved hook in size uh, 12. And I changed the configuration of it a little bit by bending the shank. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to dress the shank with my thread. And I'm just going to uh, go ahead and bring that back. Okay, and I'm just going to cut off the excess. Now I'm going to take the body that I went ahead and uh, and made. And I'm just going to affix this. Um, to the uh, hook. And I'm going to hold that for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and tie in that thread that we left loose when we made the body. And I'm going to wrap that around my thread. And I'm going to tie that in. And just go ahead and snip that off. I'm going to turn my body back over. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten up on that. Now I'm going to take some uh, crazy glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put some crazy glue on the uh, over the threads on the shank and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go around the shank and tie it around the second section of the body I'm go ahead around and I'm going to tie that onto the third section of the body and I'm just going to come back to the uh, to the front and take a few wraps there. Now I'm going to put in a half inch knot and pull my thread out of the way. The uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some large chain and this is in um, I guess it's a black. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay that on, on the top here of the uh, shank on the, over the, uh, the foam body. Take my uh, wire snips and 
I'm just going to go ahead and snip that off. And I'm going to go ahead and finish tying the, uh, tying the eyes on. And we're going to go around the eyes, over the top and over the bottom. Do a couple of figure eight. Okay. Now I'm going to take some crazy glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and touch around the eyes. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn the body a little bit around here. The eye of the hook open. Okay, and I'm just going to tie that down. I want to make sure that this body is set up properly on the bottom so you have that little crease on the bottom. Okay, make sure everything is lined up properly. Now I'm going to take some, uh, some uh, 4B rooster cape feathers. I'm going to use the ones that are the sharper pointy feathers in the center. And you got to make sure you get the same size here. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to take the first one. And I'm going to tie that on. Okay, and I'm going to take my second feather. And I'm going to lay that on. And I'm going to go around a couple of times. Okay. And pull those out so they're kind of laying flat in front. Okay, and it looks like that. Now I'm going to reach in and I'm going to take two more feathers that are of similar size but shorter than uh, the other ones. And I'm going to take the other one to the other side and I'm going to lay that over it. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to take those two smaller wings and you want to try to get those to separate by pulling them upward. Okay. And that gives you something that looks like a double wing on either side. All right. Now you're going to want to go ahead and put in a whip finish behind the eyes. Okay. A little bit tight. Cut off the thread. And now what you're going to want to do is you want to take some uh, Loon's head, head, uh, UV head cement. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this out a little bit. I can get a better view of what's going on here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it over the, through the eyes and over the back of the uh, feathers. Which will go ahead and lock this down. Take my uh, infrared laser torch, and I'm just going to go ahead and set that. 
Okay. Turn it over. And I'm going to do the uh, bottom. Now that, you're going to want to go ahead and coat the uh, shank also where it comes in contact with the foam to uh, lock that in. Okay. Now I'm going to take the, uh, the fly off. I'm just going to turn it over like so to get the back part of this. Now, as you know, the body kind of has a, a kind of a curve to it. So you can do that. And I just want to take some of this uh, UV head cement. And I want to go ahead and bring that on the body, on the bottom part, which will help keep that curved. And I just want to go ahead and uh, set that. Now I'm going to take the uh, fly and we're going to do a little bit of coloring here. And this is kind of neat. Finishing it off. Everybody likes to do a little bit of this uh, coloring. We're just going to take the black magic marker. And I'm going to run that right down the back of the, uh, the body. And the back of the fly, the tail part, the actual tip of it, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and blacken that in. And I'm just going to turn this a little bit so that I can... Get a better angle at it. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and bend that a little bit. And now I'm going to take some more of this uh, loons. I'm just going to bring that right over the top. And I'm going to connect that to the back of the uh, feathers, you know, the top part of the feathers here near the head. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my UV torch and set that up. And that'll give it some body. Okay, that's my uh, dragonfly. It's a beautiful little fly, and I think that you'll have a lot of uh, a lot of fun with it. It'll float on the top of the water, and I'm sure it'll attract quite a lot of fish. Thank you for joining me today, and uh, look forward to seeing you on our next upload. If you uh, have not subscribed, please do so. Please tell your friends about it. If you uh, like this uh, fly, please uh, click on the like button on the video. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Until the next time, have a great day and tight lines.